Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm late. It's not seven. I'm sorry. I kind of thought it was Tuesday. It's been a wild week. Um, so I'm just behind and I'm behind on pretty much everything today and that's going to be okay. So you're here. If you're not here live, that's okay. Maybe you'll watch the replay um, and hopefully you'll be super forgiving and um that would be really great so hey crystal uh, i'm just i'm super late so anyways um i'm going to i'm going to show two things tonight and then i will um post the hostess code um up in a minute um when the video is over i'll post the hostess code for this week um so i'm going to talk a little bit about paper pumpkin and then i'm going to talk a little bit about um, a fun fold card that i made this week so i'm going to flip you guys around hi marlene all right here we go so and i'm not going to be watching the comments on my laptop uh oh no okay I can. I just, I don't have it set up. Y'all, I'm really, really, really not together today. But that's okay. I've got this really cute card for you to watch. Okay, hold on. I'm getting my laptop, and I promise I'm getting it all together. Somehow, very soon, I will have it all together. So, um, happy Wednesday. Um, I know it's 4th of July week. Um, you know, maybe some of you have plans. Most of you probably don't. Um, I know I don't, so. Um, so let me get Facebook open on my laptop and then I'll get there. Um, it has just been a really wild week for me at work. Um, we had gotten some help, which was great. And then um, she took the week off, um, which just means that Things were a little bit, you know, more difficult um, for me because I really have needed that help. So, okay, I see you guys. I see me. I see you. Oh, Marlene, that's sweet. Thank you. I know. I love my bandana. I'll just show it again at the end. Um, it's part of my paper pumpkin jazz. So I'm super excited. Okay. So what I'm going to show you this week is twofold. I'm going to show you how to make this fun double Z fold card. Um, I'm sure for Crystal, this is nothing new. You make fun fold cards all the time, but it is not a card that I have made before. So I was kind of excited to, um, to show you and, um, yeah. So anyway, so boom. So the reason I decided to make the Z fold card is because I wanted to be able to show the length of this paper. So I'm going to show you this paper. It's really fun. It comes from the, um, playing with patterns, um, set and it's really cute. And so I'm excited to show you that and the letter dies, um, which unfortunately I'm missing a letter die now. Um, I'm missing the letter M it's tragic. But the reason I'm wearing my yellow bandana is because of Paper Pumpkin. So the Paper Pumpkin subscription deadline is this week. Um, it's the 10th, so well, it'll be next week, um, like on Wednesday or something. But I wanted to show you, this was my alternative project that I made, and it was a little, um, hey, you're late. Well, girl, I'm late too. Um, hey, Diana, nice to see you. Um, this is the Paper Pumpkin Alternative Box that I made, and it features the Playing With Patterns DSP in the background, the sticker from the Paper Pumpkin Kit, and then this ribbon is the new, um, it's like a basket weave, I think, ribbon is what it's called. I'll pull it out. Um, it's really nice. And it's part of a ribbon um, combo pack in the annual catalog. So... Um, I wanted to show you what's in here because that's the exciting part. So the whole idea behind this month's Paper Pumpkin was the boxes of sunshine, right? And so, whoa, I really packed this one. So I've got tea and I've got Starburst and lemonade and chapstick and a facial mask and a bandana. Um, so I went crazy with the yellow bandanas and I thought they were really fun. And so, um, so this little box of sunshine is headed in the mail. And then I've made several more boxes of sunshine and I will be uh, mailing 
those out as well. My paper pumpkin customers this month are actually getting a mini paper pumpkin box um, and a yellow bandana and a few um, fun little, oh, that's a really bad bow, all right, and a few um, fun yellow things that they can use to um, send their box of sunshine. So, yeah, so let's take a look at the paper pumpkin. I made a couple of alternative cards. I just took a note card and used that sticker. And then I also took another piece of the Playing With Patterns DSP, cut one of the suns in half and stamped on the DSP. I love stamping on DSP. So if you don't get paper pumpkin, well you should. Um, but you know, this month's kit had the box, which mine are packed and ready to ship. And then it included two each of four card designs. Um, my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, um, we get together. We're getting together on Sunday at 7. Um, you're more than welcome to join us if you want. I've got a, um, it's, we do a Zoom um, so everybody can see everybody and hear everybody. Um, but the stamp set's really fun. And um, let's see, is it? Why am I not open? So it has sunshine, your loves, ascending sunshine, hello sunshine, smile, little something to brighten your day. Super cute kit. Next month, this month, the one that you would get if you subscribe by July 10th, um, includes postcard style cards, but they're full size with envelopes. And then it also includes um, luminarias, like little bags, um, like for tea light candles, they look really cute. And then there's also an add-on kit that's $10. It's available right now, and it makes 24 cards, which is super awesome. Oh, Diana, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, so this kit included a ton of extra doodads. Um, what I liked, on, one of the things I liked was the gold. Mm, that was so pretty. And then this is the cool sticker that goes on the box and some other stickers. I've got to actually put those on the box. And then extra pieces, which is good, because I can make plenty of alternative cards. And then some more stickers. And then the bases, the card bases. So you got um, several with this kind of alcohol ink look, several with the gold alcohol ink, but with more poppy parade in it, and then gold stripes, which are really pretty. So we'll be working on these on Sunday. So if you got paper pumpkin and you wanna come hang out with us, um, you can check out my calendar on Stampin' Up. Um, I've also got it here on my Facebook page, um, and you're more than welcome to come and hang out with us. I think I've posted it. If I haven't, I'll go back and repost it. Um, I had it as a repeating event, and then things got a little wild. Um, so, um, for this week, um, if you RSVP, if you purchase with the um, hostess code, you'll get the ingredients to make this card, and then you'll also get the ingredients to make one of the little mini paper pumpkin boxes. So let me show you this DSP, because it's pretty. And the stamp set, and the dies. And I'm missing the letter N. You know, I've looked everywhere, guys. I'm gonna back in and see, but L-M-N-O-P, you know. And because my name's Melissa, that makes me a little sad, but the dies are really great. I love that they have several of um, frequently used letters in here, so this is great. It will make life a lot easier when you're die cutting things. Um, you know, then you're not having to like, you can actually lay down the words really simply, right, and run it through. And then the stamp set, it's called Pattern Play. It has lots of fun patterns. Cue the confetti, fill the day with all your guilty pleasures. Um, this will be fun. I'm going to play with it more. I think that the Stamparatus will be fun to use with this to kind of lay down different colors or do ombre things. Um, and the card pack, or the paper pack, actually has a lot of ombre in it as well. So this is part of what we used for that, and I'll show you guys how I did that. But it's got stripes, it's got masculine patterns, that's the, what I used for the paper pumpkin polka dots, texture, polka dots. I like this one too, that one's fun. Maybe we'll use that one for the next one. Although, it won't work the same, it's okay. 
It was a good thought. There, that's the other one I used. That's kind of got like an ombre look to it. Um, there's one of the other ones I used. So I'll pull that one out. And then, yeah, just lots of fun patterns. I'm really excited. So this is a fun paper pack. Um, I think, you know, whether you have kids or not, if you like bright colors and fun things, I think, you know, this has got, it's got a lot of potential. Um, and I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a great pack of paper. I'm really looking forward to playing with it more. So this card, double Z card, right? We're gonna use Purple Posy and we're gonna use Night and Navy. Two colors that I cannot get enough of. So there's our Purple Posy card base. And then the Night of Navy piece is a little bit smaller. So when you're making a Z fold, hello. I've got my handy dandy ruler. Just make sure I'm gonna do this right with 10, yeah. 10 by three and a quarter, okay. So I'll cut this to three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Inch off the end. Awesome. And then we're going to score it at see, score it at two and three quarters and five and a half. So two and three quarters. So if you're paying attention, which apparently when I was making this, I wasn't paying attention, they are scored at the same locations. So they're scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. So then what that does is it creates the fold back, right, for the front. And then for the inside, it creates the Z. So one, two. Hopefully I did that right. Nope, that does not look right. Excellent. Apparently I am not as adept at this as I thought. Oh darn. Well, fill sticks. Next piece of paper. Here we go. No big deal. You know, some days you feel like a nut, some days you don't. Maybe I shouldn't have done a live today. I don't know. It's, uh, it's been a challenging day. out a lot of friends were laid off at um, where I first started working in higher ed and I'm just super disappointed for them so um, okay so let's try again we're going to score this at four and a half and seven and a quarter all right let's try we'll try it a little different we'll go the other way and see if I have any better luck four and a half seven and a quarter Four and a half, seven and a quarter. Lord God, that doesn't look right. Oh, and I gotta cut an inch off the end. Ha ha ha. All right, now let's see. Does it line up? It does. Success. Oh yes. There we go. Hey Kathleen, we're making a double Z fold. So. I mentioned on the blog that this is my first time ever making this card. Partly because I hate wasting paper and I hate being mathematically challenged. So, um, so, but here we go. We're doing it. All right. So I do think you've got to bone fold these down, even if you used your plate. All right. So we've got this piece, right? Which is just a normal card with the front half flapped back. That's easy to understand, right? Then we've got this piece that's here, and when it's adhered here, right, then it attaches there, yeah? So that's pretty pretty clean. 
But when I was making it, I wanted to have the run of the color to go all the way from here to here. But you can see that that's not going to be enough paper with a six inch strip. So it's a three inch piece. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Yep, just like that. So we're gonna cut this guy in half, three inches. And we're gonna bake it. Watch this. So this piece needs to be four inches, right? And this piece needs to be two and a half, right? I'm gonna make sure, because now I don't trust myself. Two and a half, mm, four and a quarter, see? So, we're going to cut this piece to four and a quarter. And we'll start with the red, work our way down. And then we're gonna cut this piece, right, here. Right, so that it looks like it's a continuation. And we said we needed two and a half, so I'll do two and a half. And what that does is it creates the illusion, right, that it continues. It's tricky, tricky. All right, and then we're going to cut out the BU, right? This piece will go here, and this piece will go here. We've got our card base, and we're going to get our alphabet out. B, U, I will not lose these letters. I will find that letter. It will emerge. I'm sure of it. Who knows when? Who knows where? I can always use the W upside down as an M, right? It'd be kind of funky, but it would survive. All right, that makes me feel a little more hopeful. All right, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I do want to show you how easy this pops out. So like these little letters, I just ran it through one time, no extra runs necessary, nothing crazy, right? And the letters just fall out like a dream. It's amazing. Done, right? Now, I chose to stylistically leave the O and the B pieces out, like that was a choice I made. Um, so, you know, FYI. And then this last piece, this little snippet of white here, is two and a half by three. So we'll get a little piece of white. sentiment the world needs more of you um, for those of you who tuned into the blog today um, you know the other sentiment I really like is the one that's like you know when in doubt be a unicorn um, but in this case when in doubt be you right so that was the, the idea behind this card and I want people to know that I see them and I hear them and I want them to know that I just want to see and hear more of them. So here we go. The world needs more of you.
100%. So I used some Night and Navy, and then I did use the little hearts from in here. I thought they were cute. I used the open hearts last time. So this time, I think I'll use the closed hearts, and we'll do some clips of coral, because that is one of the coordinating colors. I'm 90% sure. Let me just confirm that. Let me see. Yep, Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral, Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Purple Posy. Fun, fun. All right. These are some cute hearts. Ah, oh, look at them. They're cute. So cute. Awesome. Oh, and then I think I stamped off over here. Super cute. And then I tied in some Coastal Cabana sequins because I felt like we needed a little pool party Coastal Cabana vibe going on. So I'll probably do like one, two, let me just do, yeah, there, super cute. These are the Artistry Blooms sequins. They're super pretty. All right, so now the construction phase, which I think for this card is probably the most challenging part, uh, at least for me, right? So, all right, there we go. Maybe there's an easier way to do it. I've got kind of an idea of the easier way to do it, but okay, we'll tape on some of our DSP here. So I did find with this, with the letters cut out, that you'll want to try to stick some adhesive, you know, down here. I actually ended up putting a couple of glue dots in here. I'm gonna use my, my little thing. I want there to be, they kept flapping up, like the, the U, the U is flapping, which is funny. Don't glue yourself to your project. And I stuck them in later, like after I glued it down, but that's obviously much more complicated. So and I'll just fold that one in half and stick it right there. But I want those letters to glue down pretty good. Like I don't want them to be flapping in the breeze. So, all right. And I'll try not to glue myself to my project. Get that U and those E's down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so the way I did it when I was, hey, Lindsay, um, the way I did this earlier, like I was like trying to hold it all together. Anyways, it's silly. If you just hold the whole card out, you can literally just like glue the two ends on the thing. Anyway, I was being very dense earlier. So about, you know, this much of the card is is down so I'll just put some adhesive behind that part one flap and then this whole flap goes down so we can put this down pretty well I will say this probably isn't something you want to like you know you want it to hold together so you want it to go down pretty well so we're gonna center it and we're gonna center left and right top and bottom there we go so I wanted to, I think what I was concerned about, I think this is kind of how I was doing it earlier. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that it like folded well. It could stick in a card. There. Oh, except now that doesn't, it doesn't fold as flat as it did. But that's okay. It looks pretty good. It folds together well. No one will lay it out like this, but they'll definitely stand it up. So, cool. Okay, that was it. Z fold card. Um, if you missed it and you came late or you're watching on the replay, let me know. Feel free to go over to the blog, c 2 cstampinweeblycom and you can check out why the world needs more of you. Um, and Paper Pumpkin, please subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. This month's kit is super cute. I'll be putting out some graphics for it, um, but it's got fireflies and fireworks. It's very summery. It has some cute little like bags that are like Luminaria bags. And then it's got um, 
It's got cards, like full size, but they're postcards. They're one sided, but there are envelopes for them. And then there's a matching kit, a $10 kit that has 24 cards in it, which is just a phenomenal deal. And if you use the ingredients in the kit, you can actually decorate all 24 of those cards, which is really great. So, oops, I'm going to flip you around. Um, I'm wearing my yellow bandana because if you missed it, I was showing that my paper pumpkin subscribers, um, they, this is how to make this is on the blog, but I'm also sending them a mini paper pumpkin box with a yellow bandana to celebrate the share sunshine kit and to, um, some starburst and some other fun little yellow things that they can use to share sunshine with their friends and family. So I hope that you all have a wonderful Wednesday um, and a wonderful holiday weekend um, and that you're safe and, um, and that you're spending quality time with family um, hopefully this weekend. Um, and it's nice to see you. I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all.